have it on me. Yeah. You want me to say anything? Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to Blue Jays Outdoors or something. <laughs> Well, welcome back to Blue Jays Outdoors, guys. Um, we are really, really excited to be out here on the lake, but I'm obviously not Blue Jays Outdoors. <laughs> there he is right there behind me. We're out on his nitro today, trying to get on some big largemouth bass up here in northern Michigan. There he is, folks. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Hey, man, really appreciate it. Jay Ball, Blue Jays Outdoors. Out here with my good buddy, Dylan from Extreme Outdoors. I mean, we are gonna absolutely smash some bass today, but what I wanna do for you guys today is I wanna prove to you that you need to be throwing fluke style baits. This is the power jerk shad from Berkeley, but I wanna prove to you that you need to stop throwing a frog right now and start throwing a power jerk shad or some sort of fluke style bait in the reeds that we're gonna be fishing today. You guys are not gonna miss this episode. We are absolutely gonna train wreck them. Stay tuned because this is gonna be a fire episode. Uh, that's super good. All right, folks, so the clicker is officially at 279 fish today so far. We haven't caught that many today, but we're gonna see what we can get this number two. So real quick, my setup, I wanna show you guys. So I've got my Abu Garcia Revo, uh, Revo Beast X reel, 6.4 to one, kind of more of a winching rod to winch these fish out of these reeds. Vector 5 out hook, pink power jerk shad. I dip this in a pink spike at die. I'll show you guys how I do that in a little bit. Got an O-ring up here to try to keep the nose from tearing out. Uh, pink python uh, beyond braid, 30 pound, and a seven foot six medium heavy for winching them out of these reeds. So I'm gonna prove to you guys, you need to stop throwing frogs and start throwing fluke style baits. Here's why. I like filming in this 0.5 too. Oh yeah, yeah, it's way better, I think. I can get better yeah. better shots for uh, my reels and stuff. Yeah. So guys, the way that I'm working this fluke is you can either yo-yo it in the reeds, and I just go straight braid. I'm not using any fluorocarbon lead or anything, but you can either yo-yo it in the reeds or just keep it kind of subsurface and work it like a jerk bait. I honestly think that these fish key in on these style baits because they look like dragonflies. There's a lot of dragonflies that are breeding and that are hatching up in this area. And over the last couple of years, Dylan and I have just absolutely train wrecked them on these fluke style baits. And that's really fun. I know it might be kind of hard to see, but there's some dragonflies right there. And I think with this water being super shell, look, the water's only about a foot deep. You know, I'm not saying you can't catch them on frogs in here, but I just think the frogs, when that frog hits the water, that giant splash, it might spook them. So last time Dylan and his dad were up in here, they absolutely train wrecked them. If you guys haven't seen that video yet, I'll leave a link to it so you can check it out. But yeah, we'll get on some, just wait. Get him. Oh, I see him. He's chasing it. Got him. Fish on. <laughs> well, guys, first fish of the afternoon. Like I said, we are just getting up here. It's around like 2.30 or something. And first fish of the day. A pretty nice one, too. Check that out right there on the Guggen Baits Dart. The 5-inch Dart California Craw color. And this is just super fun getting up here. Guys are always having a lot of fun. And there's never really any other boats up here. So it's really cool. These largemouth don't ever really get pressured or anything. So it's always fun getting up here. And I'm actually using that spear point hook, the 3 ot EWG. And these are super nice hooks, guys. I've been using them for probably, I don't know, like a, a year or two, maybe a couple of years but super nice hooks, really like using those things. But really nice fish, guys, gonna put them back. Spear point hook, these things are, are phenomenal, guys. I really, really like these things. But gonna fish on. start fishing. <laughs> Hopefully get on some big ones today. Sorry about that. <laughs> fish on, guys. First one on the pink jerk shed. So guys, I get it. Bass probably can't see pink, right? I understand that, but the water's super shallow, super clear. But again, I just think I can see this color really good. You guys have heard me talk about that. And you can't tell me that bass did not want that bait. Look at that. Absolutely choked it. So beautiful fish. Again, Berkeley doesn't make a pink powered jerk shad as a standard. So I dime in pink spike at die. Not a giant, but just absolutely fun bite. Something I'm trying, you guys can see this rubber O-ring. O -ring. It's a wacky uh, tube ring and uh, trying to see if a wacky rig ring can actually help save these baits because Dylan and I go through a ton of them. But yeah, nice fish. Get him back and get a few more. Cool. You want a picture? Or... Oh, he's not a big one. I don't know. 
Hadi be. It's like you can't tell me that it went back in here. Fish. Yeah. Good one? Good one. Feels like a good one. I didn't even... Well guys, I just picked up the Guggen Squad Revolver, which is a um, basically a whopper plopper style bait. And I just cast it out right along those weeds right there. And I didn't even hear the fish. Holy crap. crap. All right, of course the camera wasn't on, but I just flipped way back in there. Check out that nice one on the pink Berkeley Jerk Shed. That's why I gotta be throwing it. Look at way back in these reeds, there's some biggins. I want Milliken to win this year. Yeah, so bad. So bad. Just to prove all the haters wrong. Oh my gosh, dude. That was a big wake. And he swallowed that thing. And it's in uh, Oklahoma. Oh yeah, where he's from. Yeah. There. Got him. Oh yeah, baby. It's a good one. That's why I bumped up my hook size. There we go, guys. I just bumped up. Hook size is a little bit, went to a 5 aught or 6 aught. Not a giant, but choked that bait. Wanted to go to 60 pound braid just so I got a horse him out of there. So, nice fish. No cornea, I just missed his eyeball, but that's why I use those vector hooks, man. They punch through pretty hard, they're super sharp. Get a picture and get them back. Yeah. Just because we know so many of those places. Yeah. But, I mean. They can launch it anywhere. Oh, yeah, the MLF, you can launch it anywhere. Crap. He hit that one. I let him have it. Uh, I called him. I was like, hey, man, weather changed. We're going to go to Detroit. Actually, actually, dude, I did not even see him. Oh, come on. like a tank, didn't it? That's a heavy fish. Yeah. Finally, pink slobber knocker. Been struggling. That's got a cool spot on it. A little birthmark on it. Heck yeah. Decent little one. It's been a minute. Got a, some cool spots on it. There we go on the pink slobber knocker. So yeah. Heck yeah. Oh! Dude, he had it. Yeah, that was a big blow up. I don't think I stung him. Yep. Oh, oh, come on. Uh, dude, he had it. Yeah. Crap. Oh, my gosh. Dude, holy buckets. He had that thing down, man. Right here we've been sitting. Come on. It was gone. I'm gonna start putting the frog and jelly on there, man. They're just not they're just not hanging on to it. Dang it, dude. That was a freaking you heard it. Yeah. That was a freaking <laughs> Same fish. Uh -huh. I'm trying, man. Fuck. <laughs> he, that frog is gone. Did you your yeah, I just did. Dude, he had it and was running with it. Same spot. You just let it sit yeah, I just let it sit there. I let it hit splash. And I move a little bit and let it sit there. And they're hitting it when it's sitting still. But the problem is every time I cast in there, you see where my line is? Yeah. The hole's here, but my line keeps going this way across those, that grass. I can't get it straight in there. Got him. Oh, missed him. Oh, 
Oh, he's still on. Here, let me get on. There. Finally. Flipping. Yeah. There we go. Damn. Here we go, guys. Got one on the structure bug. Flipping this outside grass edge. Not a giant, but we'll get some more. Hey guys, quick update. So I showed you a couple days ago the Wacky Rig tube idea to save your structure bugs and creature baits. And I just want to give you guys an update. So what I've found is I need to go three rings back on these structure bugs. So you see there's one ring, two rings, three rings. I want to go back to that third ring. Um, and that gives me a little bit more uh, rubber to put in front of the hook. Right? I'm oh, sorry I went too far. But, um, you know, go at least three rings down on these structure bugs. And then, then you take your hook, like I showed you guys before, and you rig it Texas, Texas style. So I want the purple side down. So you're going to take your hook, run it through, go under that O-ring right there, and then just rig it your normal way. So just want to give you guys an update. Kind of found that uh, using that um, down a little bit farther than the first ring is definitely helping. So you guys can see it right there. So I hope you guys enjoy that little tip and trick. Stay fishy, my friends. Hey, you catch one on that? I'll switch. There we go. Trotter. Yep. Oh, man, that's a nice one, too. Yeah, nice. That's a really nice one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, buddy. There we go. There we go. We need to get a picture of that one. There's a four-pounder, four-and-a-half-pounder. Look at the tail on her. Yeah, That's crazy. It's, like, completely cut off. Check that out, guys. Just started throwing the pink Berkeley slobber knocker up here in these shallow reeds and absolutely train wrecked. That's a beautiful fish. Look at the tail on it. Freaking crazy, but nice fish. Heck yeah. So, reflections from today. It was a good day. I get to spend the day on the water with my buddy Dylan from Extreme Outdoorsman. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe to his channel. But uh, we struggle a little bit, you know? I mean, uh, yeah, a little bit slower than we're used to, but I honestly think. You know, there's a ton of dead fish in this area that we're at right now, and we've known the wind's been blowing really hard out of the north last couple of days, and we just think that the wind has got these fish pushed way, way back. I mean, the frogs we're hearing, some blopes we're hearing are way back in the deep reeds that we just can't get to. We did end up ca catching a few, you know, got some on the frog, got some on the slobber knocker, a couple on the flukes. I mean, it was it was a tough day, honestly, but, you know, always a good day to spend in the water with my buddy Dylan. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, goal this year is 5,000 followers. It grows from pretty good. I do appreciate all the support. And remember, the easiest way to change your attitude is by showing gratitude. Thanks. We'll catch you in the water next time. Let's go. Oh, yeah.